Jenny. Today I want to show you how you can fake a nice deep crease in your socket line. Not everybody has that nice dimensionality in their crease area socket line. This is a way to make your lid look taller and your crease look a little bit more sculpted. So I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I love this one because it has this yellow base color, which is great for me today because it's been very hot here. My eyelids are a little bit red and this is gonna cool off and neutralize some of the heat on my lid. So the first thing I'm doing is taking a fairly small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just drag this yellow base color all the way across my lid. I can already see how that is cooling off and neutralizing the pink on my lid. I'm actually taking it slightly up onto the crease. All right, I'm gonna do my other eye, just really kind of, it's not really a sweep, it's not really a pat, I'm just kind of working the shadow all the way across my lid. All right, now, the secret, the really big secret to getting a well-defined crease is to keep your eyes open while you're applying your contour. The contour is this area in your socket line that we're gonna be shading. So I am going to use this Naked 2 color in this palette and a softly domed brush. I'm dipping into the Naked 2. I always tap away my excess product. And now with my eyes open, I am pressing into, can you see? Pressing into this socket area on my eye and I am just tracking back and forth on that socket area. That's really all there is to it. You can add more product if you want more depth and dimension, and you can scale back if you want a more natural look. I'm gonna start building this up so you can really see the difference from one eye to the other. This eye looks like it's got more height in it. So I'm gonna start adding this faint color, this sort of deeper brown color into my crease also. I'm gonna mix it with the Naked 2 color because I don't want it to be too dark, but I do wanna give a little bit more definition. So there we go. And I'm just tracking into my socket line. I'm not turning too far down into the corner of my eye right here because that closes your eye up. I'm really just staying in that socket line and then I'm softly finishing out the corner so that this end of the eyeshadow isn't just floating out there in space. And then I'm going to use a big soft clean brush to blend away the edges from this eyeshadow. And that's it. You've got one eye that's big and wide open and contoured and the other eye it's neutralized, but it doesn't have the same shape on it. So that's the tip of the day. I hope you like it. Bye.